Hello dear friends, this is Ewell Humphreys. I'm glad to share with you another word from the Bible. <clears throat> a little short message that I've entitled, The Sower and the Seed. And Jesus taught in parables. Many times he taught in parables. A parable is an earthly, an earthly explanation of a heavenly meaning. A <clears throat> and it's a parable that reveals the important things in life that we need to know and understand as we as we become and as we try to live a Christian life. And so it is that he sort of, he began to teach them in parables. And he said, the kingdom of God is likened to a sower who went out to sow some seed. And the, the seed fell on different kinds of ground and brought forth different kinds of results. And so he's speaking here about the fact that we have an opportunity to witness to others, to tell others about Jesus. We as Christians ought to be telling others about him. And some will hear and they will not respond as we'd like for them to. Others will hear and they'll turn away. Others will hear and they seem to respond, but they really do not. And then others will truly hear and truly respond and live for God. And so it's important that we find the good ground. And we don't know where it is. We just sow the seed and God will give us the good ground and the harvest. It's up to the Lord. Over in, in this scripture in the 13th chapter of Matthew, Jesus said, Some of the seed fell by the wayside, by the wayside, outside the, 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 the harvest, uh, the, the, uh, the ground that was cultivated. It was felt outside, called the wayside, and birds of the air picked it up. He said, this, is, this happens when we speak the word of the Lord to people and they really do not hear. They do not listen. They hear it, but they don't regard it. They don't believe it. And the devil takes whatever word that came to them and he takes them out of their life and they don't hear it. You see, some people hear with their ears and they respond for a little while. But that's about all. But there are others that hear from the heart. And when they hear from the heart, it changes the life and they become Christians. And so it's important then that when we speak, we pray God give this, give us the power and speak and give these people a new heart to hear. A new heart. Oh, praise the Lord. A new spirit that God will use to bless them and help us to know that they receive Christ and the Word of God. And so the sower sows seed and some of it falls uh, on stony ground. And then he said, and uh, it does not have enough earth and underneath the earth is rock and so when the sun comes up it scorches it and it doesn't have root and it dies and so he said it is with people who hear the word but they don't really acknowledge it they just hear it and they smile and act like they're listening and act like that they're receiving it but really they're not receiving it because it's never reached their heart it's only reached their ears and so they need to reach the heart and so then he said there are some that falls on, on uh, stony ground that has no earth, uh, it has not enough earth, and it, it, does not, it does not produce fruit. There are some that fell among thorns, and the thorns choked it out. And he goes on to explain that later and says that this is where people hear the word and they seem to hear it with joy, but then the cares of this world, and the deceitfulness of riches is like the thorns that choke out the word and they never become Christians. They never really receive Christ and his word. And so it is that, that that happens sometimes to people. We live in a world where we have to depend on money to buy certain things and it's an actually a temptation to Christians to put money before God sometimes. Or put with their business before God's power and God himself and we should not do that I have a dear friend that he has a pie company he makes uh, fried pies and he, he does this and he sells his little fried pies all over the country thousands of them every week he does real good he's got a beautiful house he's got a new car he's just as far as money he's making some money but he puts on every pie he puts a scripture from the Bible he said, that helps me to know that those pies are carrying the word of God out wherever they go. And it keeps me from 
looking too much at my money and it keeps me looking more to the Bible to the Word of God and to the Lord I love that's good and so praise God then it says some of the seed will fall on good ground and they will receive it and it will bring forth fruit some a hundredfold some sixty and some thirtyfold praise the Lord different we don't always produce the same crop uh, we do not always talk the same way Peter did not preach like Paul Barnabas did not serve the Lord in witness like Silas everybody was different but they all had a central theme that theme was the Word of God and that, that was Jesus Christ the Son of God who loved us and gave himself for us and he's the only one that can get us to heaven according to the Bible and so we need to sow the seed and tell people that God loves them, Jesus says, and then tell them to read the Bible, to follow the Lord, to find a church and be baptized, to walk by faith and trust in God because we're saved. And praise the Lord, we belong to Jesus. May, may you know right now, dear friend, the Lord loves you. And I want you to know that He cares for you. And if you're a Christian, I want you to understand that He's there with you and He's never going to leave you. And you're going to make it all the way through. And he's going to protect you and provide for your needs. And you're going to come through. There will be times when you're broken. But never a time when you will not be blessed. He will be there with you in your brokenness. He'll walk with you in the fire. And he'll bring you out in his time, in his way. And it'll be the right time and the right way. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Look unto the Lord. Look unto the Lord. Depend on God. Depend on God when you witness. Over in the book of, uh, of Luke, the 13th, 11th chapter of Luke, the Bible says, And if, if you know how to give good gifts unto your children, how much more will your Father give the Holy Spirit to them that ask Him? And so Luke 11, 13, 13 remember that verse. God wants to give you the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit's already in you, Christian. But he wants to have all of you. And you need to turn to him and say, Lord, I deny myself. I get self out of it as best I can. And I want you to take over my life and live in me. And when that happens, God will bless it. Luke 12, 12 is another good scripture on the Holy Spirit. As you sow the seed. The Bible says there, but the Holy Spirit will teach you in that same hour what you ought to say. The Holy Spirit, and I believe the Holy Spirit, speaks through me on these little 10 minute messages I believe as they go out all over the world the Lord God is speaking through me and anointing these simple messages with the power and the presence of his wonderful spirit and thus the power of love and grace is coming to you and peace by the power of the spirit and so we see the meaning the real meaning and how important it is for us to bear fruit Bear fruit, some hundredfold, some sixty, some thirtyfold. And fruit, we think of the fruit of the Spirit. It's in by Galatians in the fifth chapter. But the fruit of the Spirit is love and joy and peace. Love and joy and peace, the fruit of the Spirit. And when you're walking with God and you're blessed of the Holy Spirit, you've denied yourself, you're seeking God's will. Instead of your will, you will produce and provide in your life. There will be provided love and joy and peace and patience and goodness and meekness and all those things that bless your soul. Amen. And so we need to bear the fruit of the Spirit and know that God is there to bless us. If you've never prayed and asked God to come in your heart, you need to pray and say, Dear God, please forgive me. I believe in Jesus. And you need to say, Oh, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I believe you died for me. I believe you rose again. And I believe you're coming back. Come in my heart, Lord Jesus. Help me live for you. Amen and amen. Pray a prayer like that. Find you a good church. Worship with God's people. And you'll find that you will bear fruit. And some will hundredfold. Some sixtyfold. Some thirtyfold. But you will bear fruit. For the glory of God. For the glory of God in Christ Jesus. 
I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. I have decided to follow Jesus. No turning back, no turning back. The world behind me, the cross before me. The world behind me, and the cross before me. Oh, the world behind me, and the cross before me. No turning back, no turning back. Amen. Pray a prayer, and sing a song, and live for God. And learn that you need to sow the seed, and it's going to fall sooner or later upon good ground. God bless in the name of Jesus. Amen and amen.